All right. Algebra two, lesson 1.5. Question number five, and for me, I need that other number as well, and it's 1.5.25. All right. Solve graphically an absolute value equal to a linear. And I do think that might be the easiest way to do it. We could set up two equations. To solve it algebraically, you might do something like this. 2x plus 1 equals the 6x minus 11 if the two sides are exactly the same. And then also if the two sides are opposite, you just have to be careful again when you do this one that uh, you can't have the 6x minus 11 come out to a negative or you would only have the one answer. So um, but this is solve it graphically. I was supposed to do that on the last problem to check it, but I didn't. So let's just do this one. Um, I really do like using Desmos. So desmos.com. I'm going to just switch over there to that tab. Um, I believe you should be still seeing this. Let me just double check. Make sure I don't have you guys seeing the wrong thing. All right. And then desmos.com. You see it right up there, desmos.com. And then you're going to click on graph and calculator. And then I like that I've got my two equations I wrote down here because so one of them, well, the left side was like y equals and then the absolute value. If um, if you remember here, this this left side I believe had an absolute value on it. So that absolute value right there, we're going to go and put that in the equation. And all you do is for absolute value. Um, it's just ABS, ABS, short for absolute value, and then in parentheses, the equation. So the 2x plus 1. And it graphs it automatically for us there. Um, you can see the 1 is kind of like your y-intercept right, right here. And if I click on that, and then the 2 is kind of like your slope if you go... Um, over one up two to get to the next point. Anyway, um, then put the other equation in. You just click down in the next row, and type y equals, and this, remember, remember my right side was just the six x minus 11, six x minus 11. And then all we have to do is look on this graph. Now it looks like the, inter the intersection points off my graph. So I'm gonna just click and I think I can drag it down, click and hold down and then drag it and then Click right there, and it will tell me my intersection point happened at 37. And you can tell by this line, this is steeper than this one. They're never going to intersect again. They don't intersect down here. So that's the only answer. And then remember also, we talked about we've talked about before that um, when you're doing this problem, um, Yeah, you have the 0 0.37, but if you go back to the original problem, it only had X's in it. We're just using the Y to help us solve and figure out the problem on this coordinate graph. So my answer, my only answer is actually the three. So I think um, this, the graph and using Desmos like this, it's really a nice way to solve the problem. Uh, seems like all you gotta do is make sure you typed everything in right. And my fat sausage fingers sometimes I hit the wrong buttons, but I think it looks to me like unless I copied something down wrong, I do think it's right. X being three, that's what I'm gonna put for my answer. Scroll down here so we can see the check answer button. And we got it. So hope that helps you. Good luck.